getting ready to dig the footings for our retaining wall here. It's going to be cool. House is looking good. Got our roofing. Got most of our windows in. Got our siding going. Retaining wall is going to come to here somewhere. We're going to stop it because our sewer line has to come out somewhere up there and drain down here. Come all the way down here. Go down there to right here where that crosses the road. There's a manhole over there. Here's the siding style that I thought was going to look good. So far it is. <laughs> good thing. It's a board and batten style. It's all fiber cement siding. It's got that weird colored primer on it. So no, we're not painting the house orange. <laughs> it's funny. It always looks funny until you get it, get the primer on it. And here you can see, we've got a Z flashing that comes out and sits over the top of this trim and goes up behind that piece. Some people would try to sit this on here and just cough that. That's a big mistake. A few years down the road, when the caulk fails, cracks, water would be going behind that. Got our nice aluminum clad windows. Very maintenance free. Those beams there are for some false beams we're putting up coming out under these gables. And they'll have like a steel bracket underneath them. I've got to design that. So that's something I need to be doing right now. <laughs> we're also gonna have to put a retaining wall down here to support the driveway coming out here where it'll break off like that on the edge. It's funny because when you first just take a glance at this house, it's pretty simple, but it has some really cool features on it. That's what I like about it. With the flying gables and the, you know, the inset uh, entry there and the back is really going to be nice so I'm looking forward to moving to the back that big window wall should be fun